So, I was spending my retirement years mostly kicking back at home. And when I wasn't there, I was back at the thrift shops, poking through record bins just like old times. That is, when I wasn't hitting the regional tiki-themed marketplaces. Yes, that's a thing, if you didn't know. It wasn't a bad way to pass the time, but I thought, maybe tiki girls like me need to expand their horizons beyond exotic vinyl and South Seas decor. Maybe they want to find someone special who isn't wearing some polyester repro Hawaiian shirt, who spends his time cruising for some unsuspecting hula girl. It seemed like I just might get my wish. I was kicking back at a secret tiki bar downtown, and in walked this guy. Reminded me of the one on that show, Dan Draper or something? I think it was called Mad Men. This guy in the bar was even older than I was. Didn't have a chiseled chin or anything, and walked with a wannabe swagger with a bit of a limp. We talked. He wasn't really my cup of tea, in fact. How'd this guy figure out about our secret tiki hideout in the first place? I've got to have a talk with the person who let him in. But remember, I was talking about expanding my horizons. So when he invited me to what he promised to be his iconic, mid-century, genuine Eichler home out in the burbs, tricked out to the max, I said to myself, well, why not? On the way there, he couldn't stop talking about what I'd see. My imagination ran wild. 1963 again. His own personal style of vinyl. When we arrived, he gave me the nickel tour. He put some wretched record on his definitely average vintage stereo. Seeing that I wasn't impressed, out came dumbass Exotica. Been there, heard that. Come on, man. If you want to impress Tiki Girl, play me something I don't know. Things went from bad to worse. Step into my screening room where we can watch pristine prints of iconic 60s films. And, uh, they all have the idea of getting married, right? Of course they do. You've I mean, got to be kidding, I wanted to say. Unless you were a Hollywood mogul back then, you'd be lucky to have a rattling 16mm projector with a bed sheet tacked on a wall. Soon we were wandering around the house again. You're as young as you feel, he said, sucking in his gut, which lasted about 10 seconds. Was he thinking he could lead me into the bedroom? At least, Tiki Girl is smart enough to know that this dude didn't have the nerve to slip me some kind of date drug. Plus, he wasn't all greasy with a pencil mustache and white patent leather shoes. Yeah, there were still some of those kind of guys in circulation. It was time to make an exit, even if it meant on foot. I only vaguely knew where I was. All these suburbs looked the same to me. But I figured that eventually I'd find my bearings so I could call for an Uber or something and get the hell out of there. Jesus, this is so depressing. Expanding horizons? Ha! Ah. But what were my options? No, Tiki Girl's not that desperate, and staying home's not such a bad thing, after all. <laughs>